and welcome to Newsmakers. I'm Carrie Coogan, your host today, and we're here with Kansas State Senator Molly Baumgardner. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, also, we're here today at the all-electric house of the Johnson County Museum of History. Have you been here before? Oh, I have. <laughs> so, yes. pretty interesting. It is. <laughs> well, we're here today to talk about education, and I think it's a real hot-button issue um, across the nation, but in, in the state of Kansas as well. So, first thing I want to ask you about is sort of your stance or position on the new Common Core standards? Um, actually, um, I'm opposed to the Common Core standards and when I have been going through that election process because I did have a primary just a few months ago and that was one of the issues that I spoke against. And so can you talk about why? What are some of the key aspects as to why you're against it? Well, one of the main reasons that I'm opposed to it is in our Constitution, it really does indicate that educating the populace is the sovereign right and responsibility, or burden, if you will, of the states. And so when we have a federal mandate such as Common Core, I feel that's really taking that local or state control out of our hands. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also concerned because Common Core was really kind of dangled to us um, by the federal government that if we wanted to get out of the No Child Left Behind program, we could jump toward uh, this Common Core program and have a chance to get additional funding. And um, it really was, to me, a poison apple that they were extending to us. Um, I think if you look at some of the core, core aspects of Common Core, um, children as well as teachers are having to completely relearn mathematics instead of the numerical symbols, one, two, three, and so forth. Um, they're having to use circles, boxes, and lines to indicate what's tens, ones, and hundreds. And um, we shouldn't have to reteach a teacher mathematics just so that they can be teaching it in the classroom. You sort of have a unique perspective. Um, you have a background in education mm -hmm. as well as you're a legislator. So when you talk to parents and other educators about this, um, in the state of Kansas, what's their reaction? Are, are you getting mixed reaction or do they feel the way that you do? I mean, what's the consensus of the people who are you know, in the trenches? Um, it's a little bit mixed as far as parents. Um, some parents are not even aware of the Common Core standards and the changes that have occurred. Um, when they learn about some of the aspects of Common Core, they're very concerned, uh, particularly about the data collection because the data that is collected is then feeding into this federal um, data system. And it's all kinds of very interesting information about a child, about a family, um, that we really don't have a business of asking or tracking. And there's also the issue of securing that data. Um, educators are concerned because there's having to spend so much time in training and retraining. Um, and parents that are aware of the Common Core Standards are very much opposed to it. So I think that everybody agrees that we need to look at education. And so if, if your, your thoughts are that the Common Core is not the way to go, what would be your suggestion? How, what should we be doing? Um, well, I think what we should be doing is, in some ways, what we were doing 10 and 15 years ago, and that is that we were having, um, we were having our own educators in the state of Kansas coming up with that state assessment in English, in writing, and mathematics. And I think that our educators in this state are um, very well trained, do wonderful things in the classroom, and I feel that they should come up with those standards and that they should be writing that, that test that is given at appropriate benchmarks, so at a point of third grade, sixth grade, eighth grade, to make sure that progress is occurring. One of the complaints that I've heard from administrators and teachers, as well as parents, is there's just too much testing. Mm -hmm. And so I think we need to get back to, within our state, identifying what is important, what we feel a child that graduates from high school should have as far as um, reading and writing and mathematics skills, and we should rely on our educators to come up with that assessment. Well, we're here today with Kansas State Senator Molly Baumgardner, and unfortunately we're out of time. We could spend a lot more time talking about education for sure, but thank you so much for your time and for your service to the state. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you. It's been my pleasure. Thank you. And that's all the time we have today on Newsmakers. I'm your host, Carrie Coogan, and we'll see you back here again next time. <laughs>